Hello everyone, today let's talk about matrix multiplication. We have two matrices here, A is a 2 by 2 matrix, and we also have another 2 by 2 matrix here. This one is matrix B. And so we want to find the product AB and then also the, the other product BA, and we want to see uh, whether it's possible and also whether they are the same. Okay, so now let's get started. So first, if we want to find AB, then we actually should just line them up side by side. And first, we when we see A, B right here, we got to put the A first, right? So we have 4, 2, negative 1, and 3. And then the B. Okay, so we have 1, negative 2, and then 0, and 5. Okay, so the first thing that we got to check is to check the size for the, uh, the for each matrix. So as you can see here, the uh, the size for the first one is 2 by 2, and the other one is also, the second one is also 2 by 2. Now, what we need to make sure is that the inner numbers right here, so those two numbers, are the same so that we can do the multiplication. If they are not the same, then we will not be able to do the multiplication. Now they are the same, so we can do the multiplication. And then what the outer numbers tell us is that that is the size for the product. So that means the size for the product, okay? So the size for the product, the size of the AB is what? That tells us that it will be two by two. Okay, so now we are actually ready to do the matrix multiplication. Now, keep in mind that we have a two by two matrix, so all we need to do is to fill in four blanks right here, okay? So the way that we do it is this. What we are gonna do is that we are going to take this first row right here and then multiply by this first column. And then you may say, how do we do that? Well, we multiply the corresponding entry. So we have the four times the one and then the two times zero. So we are going to get four and then times the one and then plus and then two, and then times the zero. Okay, so that's our one one entry for the AB. And then now what about the, uh, this entry right here, this, this is the entry that is in the what? It's in the first row, but the second column. Okay, for the, for the entry in the first row and the second column, we use the first row and then the second column here. So first row of the A and then second column of the B to get our entry here. So it would be four times negative two. So we have four times negative two and then plus two times five. Okay, so two times the five. And so that is our one, two entry here. Okay, that's coming from what? That's coming from the first row of the first matrix and then the second column of the second matrix. And then now for this one, this one is the what? This one is the two one entry. This one is the entry that it's in the second row and then the first column. So we gotta use the second row of the first matrix and then the first column of the second matrix. So it will be leg the one times one. So leg the one times one and then plus negative one times one and then three times zero. So we have three times zero right here. And then now the last one, the last one is the second row and then the second column right here. So negative one times negative two. So negative one times negative two and then plus, and then we have three and then times the five, right? So three times the five. So now we actually have the product, but of course we gotta simplify this, but simplifying it would be easy. So we are just going to do it quickly. So what do we get here? So we are going to get four times one and then that's zero. So we just get four. And then this one is what, negative eight. And then, um, so we can just do that here. So this one is negative eight and then that one is what, plus 10, right? So we are going to get what, positive two. And then what about this one? This one is going to be just negative one and then that's zero, so we just get negative one. And then last one, last one, what do we get here? Two and then plus, what is that? 15, so we are going to get 17 as the final answer. Okay, so that is our product, AB. Okay, and then now we are going to try BA, but of course, uh, BA is also possible, why? Because B is a two by two matrix, A is a two by two matrix, so the, the, the number right here, the inner numbers are the same, and then the, the, the size would also be also a uh, two by two matrix, right? So we are going to just write it down right now, so B, A. Now this time, we need to write the B first, so we are going to copy this B 
the matrix B here. So we are going to get 1, negative 2, 0, 5. Okay. And then we are going to get, uh, copy this A here. So we get 4, 2, negative 1, 3. Now I actually want to show you a faster way to write down this. We already know that it's going to be 2 by 2, right? So there was, there was actually a really quick way to write this down without having to go through the first column, first row, I mean first row, first column, and then first, uh, first row, and then second column, and then um, and then second row and the first column, second row and then the second column. And if you can still do that, right? So that that's the uh, the way that we do it. And then actually we're still doing the same thing, but just want to show you a quick way to do that. Now, how do we do that? Well, the the idea is simple. So what we are really going to do is that we are going to use the first row right here for the first one. So first row, so we get one and then blank and then minus two and then that's really just this entry and then put down the blank here. And then what really happens is that because for the second column right here is still in the first row. So we are still going to use those entries right here. So we are going to use one times blank and then minus two times blank. Now for the second row, we are going to use the second row for uh, for the first matrix, so zero blank plus five blank, and then zero blank plus five blank, okay? So the next one is that we are going to use the columns right here. So fill in the columns into the into those. This is the first column. So then we are going to put it in the first column. So four legged one, so four legged one. This one is also the first column, so four legged one, as you can see. And then we have the second column, so second column right here. So we are going to get two, three, and then two, three. And so that we have the setup. But of course, once you get used to this, then it will be a lot quicker. As you can see, I was explaining, so that's why it will feel it's not too fast. And then now the rest is really just basic arithmetic, right? So we have four and then um, this is four and then plus two. So we are going to get the six. And then the next one, this is two uh, minus six. So we are going to get negative four. And then this one is zero and then that's negative five, right? So we have negative five here. And then this one is zero, that's 15. So now that is the product AB. So we're finished. And then now next, we are going to see some examples with um, when, when we multiply matrices with different sizes. Okay, this time we are going to look at different matrices right here, still finding AB and BA if possible. So what will happen is that we are going to first label the sizes and see what's going on. So the size for matrix A is going to be two rows and then three columns, right? So two by three. And then this one is a three by three is a square matrix. And so now let's check if AB is possible. So AB, we just put them side by side right here. So three, one, four, and then zero, two, two. And then let me see. So we are going to copy this one. So zero, negative one, one, five, negative six, negative two, one, negative two, one. Okay. Okay, so now if we just put them here side by side, so we can see that the inner numbers, the inner numbers are the same. So that's okay. And what about the outer number? The outer numbers will actually give us the size for the product, right? So we are going to get the product, AB, and then the size is the what? Is what? It's going to be two by three, right? As you can see. So now what really happens is that we are going to let's make a template here, and then it would be two by three. So two rows and then three columns. So the matrix is going to look like this. Blank, 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 and then blank, blank, blank. So it should look like this, two columns, I mean two rows, and then three columns right here. So two by three, so two by three. Okay, so now we are going to start. And 
as I just showed you earlier with a faster way to do it, so we can actually just write down the template here. I think I actually need more space, so I'm just going to just scroll up and then now do it over here. Okay, so um, because we are going to get two rows. So the first row is that we are going to use the entries in the first row for the first matrix. So three blank plus one times blank and then plus four times blank. Okay, so that's that's great. And then now also the same thing for the, the second column and the third column. So same thing. So three blank plus one blank plus four blank and then three blank plus one blank and then plus four blank. Okay, so we have that. And then now what about the second row right here? The second row, we're going to use the second row for the first matrix. So zero blank plus two blank plus two blank. And then zero blank plus two blank plus two blank. And then so same thing here. Okay, so now we are ready to fill in the blanks. So what we are going to do is that we are going to look at the first column right here. Okay, so the first column. The first column is going to be 0, 5, 1, so 0, 5, 1. Okay, and then for still fill in the same column for, I mean, in the first column, so 0, 5, 1. So we have that same first column right here. Now, what about the second column? The second column is this one. Okay, so the second column is going to be negative one, negative six, negative two, negative one, negative six, negative two. And then the last column, it's going to be what? One, actually, let me use a different symbol. So the last column is this one. So one, negative two, one, and then one, negative two, one. As you can see that this one, I'm using the symbol, that one, I'm using this symbol, and then the last one, I'm using the symbol here. Okay, so we're actually ready to do the calculation. So the calculation is really simple. So that's three times zero, that's five, that's four. So you're gonna get nine for the one, one entry. And then for the for the one, two entry, then we are going to get what? Negative three, negative six, negative eight. So negative three, negative six, negative eight. So we have that. And then this one is going to be what? Three minus two plus four. And this one probably I can just write it down. This one is just what, 10? And then that's two, right? So we are going to get 12. And then what about this one? This one is negative, this is zero, and then that's negative 12, and then minus four. Okay, last one is negative four, and then plus two. So final answer, we are going to get 9 and then 12. And then what about this one? This one is negative 9, negative 8, negative 17. And what about this one, negative 16? This one is 1 plus 4 is 5. And then the last entry will be negative 2. So that's all. Okay, so that's the, um, that's the AB. Okay, and then now what about the BA? So now if we go back here, the BA... If we want to do BA, BA, let's just look at it here. So BA is that, uh, let's look at the sizes here. So three by three, and then what happens? It's going to be what, two by three. So now what really happens is that those numbers right here are not the same. So because the inner numbers are not the same, then we will not be able to multiply B by the A, right? So we cannot do this one. So, so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe and also give me a like. Thank you. I will see you next time.